So how the Yamaha auto decompressor works. So you have your exhaust cam. As you can see, this is an exhaust cam. Um, so on the older style, like YZs and uh, WRs and stuff, they have the decompressor that you squeeze or push down on the handlebars, and that pushes open the exhaust valve. As you can see here, there's nothing on this cam, just, just a plain old camshaft. Um, as you can see with this one, you can see this cam has... A little indent right there and when this is at top dead center which would be right right there that dot right there would be aligned with the top of the cylinder head say the see that line in the background of the white against the wood so say that's the cylinder head this cam would sit in there just like that lined up with that so what happens when the bike is being kicked over it's uh pushing your exhaust valves open just a tiny bit using that little nub right there. Just enough to take out some of the compression at the exact moment of top dead center. And then when the engine does finally fire off, this wing, it starts spinning fast enough that this wing will go out and it retracts that little bump right there as you can see. So, because when you kick the bike over, um, you cannot kick it fast enough to activate the centrifugal force of this unless you are some crazy bodybuilder uh, i'm sure there's somebody out there that could do it but anyways um another thing is um, i was going to go over too is whenever you have a bike that you can push start or pull start bump start whatever you want to call it and it doesn't start or i mean it does start but it won't start when you kick start it so what's happening is um your intake valves or exhaust valves are being hung open because they're way out of adjustment or they're too tight in a lot of cases. Um, so a lot of guys will think that it's something with, you know, spark related and whatnot. And sometimes it is um, because sometimes your pulsar coil, when it goes bad, it can cause your, um, your engine not to have a hot enough spark for it to start. But whenever you pull start it, the, the um, pulse generator will have enough of a um, pulse built up basically because it's just basically a copper wire wrapped around um a magnet creates a electrical current and uh it changes voltage so quick it basically brings up the voltage threshold threshold to send to the cdi box to uh tell the cdi box to send spark to the coil and if it's not high enough voltage or there's no voltage going to the cdi box it's just not going to function properly anyhow the uh, valves being stuck open part, um, basically your intake valves will get stuck open. It's the most common on most bikes. Your intake valves, Hondas and the Yamahas, they'll be stuck open just enough that every time you kick it over, what's going on is it's, uh, there's a bug on me, is it's um, pushing air back out through the intake valves and pushing it past the carburetor. And it's not wanting to start. So whenever you pull start it or push start it, bump start it, whatever you want to call it, it allows this to wing out and gives it that much more, a little bit of compression and the air is flowing through the carburetor faster at that point, fast enough that it can actually fire up and run. So hopefully that video kind of helps you guys out understand how the auto decompression on these engines work. This is the same concept as a lot of the older Hondas um, or the mid early 2000 Hondas. They still uh, use this design as well as uh, Yamaha. And uh, if you have the older Yamahas, um, I think 2003, they changed this. They look like this. And another thing, too, if anyone's ever curious of why there's an I and E on this cam, or on the exhaust cam, I think the intakes also have them, yeah. So the whole point of that is so that way when you're placing the camshaft into the engine, say if you have it 180 degrees out, E is now facing the in and you know, I is facing exhaust. So what that stands for is exhaust and intake. So that way when you're putting the camshafts in, um, intake basically facing that way, exhaust facing that way. So intake to the right, exhaust to the left, unless it's a newer YZ or YFZ, um, or sorry, YZ or WR, it's got the backwards facing heads on them. So your camshafts are backwards and your piston is also backwards. So anyways, hopefully that was, a. Uh, good explanation for you guys on how the auto decompression works and hard to start when cold basically.